Hello YouTube, hope you are well. Today is a splendid Thursday in the whole household and we're about to get stuck into a full body uh, strength and conditioning session. We've got Mr. Um, Pat, Patrick. I remember about a bit <laughs> Been hitting the head a little bit too much and forgetting people's names now. So this is Patrick, yeah, nice aka Pinhead. <laughs> this is Joshua. AKA Monster Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so there's the team. We're gonna mm -hmm. hit just a, a bit of a, an all over sort of hit today. It is, the fight is gonna be announced very soon. So we're roughly seven weeks until the <laughs> fight. So strength and conditioning is still one of the, on the top of my list. I still wanna stay big and strong. Um, so, yeah, today's going to be a good good shoulder hit, good leg hit, good torso hit, a bit of everything really. So, uh, I suppose we'll, uh, what we're getting stuck in first with Patrick? Uh, ball slams. Ball slams. Favourite. Everything's your favourite these days. I love, I love ball slams. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's after that? Bulgarians. I love <laughs> Bulgarians. <laughs> Bulgarians. <laughs> This up to here. Yeah. Yeah. How many? 15. Fast, slow. Slow. Okay. Nice and explosive. There we go. Yeah, stop every time. Just say we're doing this now, so we're just basically moving, we're just doing kettlebell movements. <laughs> so in a plank position, moving the kettlebell side to side, you've got 10 reps each side, and then you're going to go straight into your superman planks. So this is, this is exactly how I've had it off. You look like four. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Yeah. So you didn't. So whilst I was really concentrating, then you were talking about something. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do Superman's now, aren't I? I just do a plank and do side to side. No. You, so you're doing, you're doing cattle, You're moving the kettlebell, kettlebell side to side. That's what I right. said. Then you're going into your Superman straight away from that. Right. So doing a, so a plank. Ten. ten moving it side ten, to side. Ten. Hang on. Slow down. <laughs> so I'm going to do a plank. Ten that way. Ten that way. So twenty in total. Yes. And then I'm going to do ten Supermans. Yes. One after the other. Yes. So it was that hard. I just said that. <laughs> He's just said. <laughs> so we should leave him there for an hour. Um, I'm just gonna do some Bulgarian split squats. And then again, come on, Josh, keep that cool. I got these bolts on his dick. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> stop that dick and stop cheating. <laughs> anyway, there's some uh, Bulgarian split squats. And again, for boxing, this is a great stabilizer. Getting the glutes firing and everything uh, just transfers over really well to boxing. So just gonna start really light, work away up, and uh, go from there. <laughs>
Hungarian land mine presses next. So we've got an extra long bar. And I'm going to do it with bands as well so it gets harder towards the top. I'm trying to simulate that punch. And obviously, this isn't just shoulders, this is a lot of the core as well, a lot of hip movements, so you're sort of getting everything behind it. Um, so I'll just, again, just work up on the weight. protein in before you work out and after you work out or if you if you may do it enjoying the workout is the vital my opinion as soon as you rip a muscle in the gym get protein and you start repairing so uh, I've had a good blast of protein for my breakfast which kept me going training for an hour and a half two hours you want like a little hit right in the middle, just to keep you going. So, uh, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you notice, guys, but the, uh, this one's pretty good. It's uh, the My Pro All-in-One. So it's basically got a little bit of everything in there for just for growing into an all-in-one awesome beast. So, uh, link in the description. Stay hydrated. Stay strong. Don't forget your banana. Yeah. Right, we're going to do the incline bench press next. So we always swap it up. Last week we did incline dumbbells. I think we were already up to like 70 kilo dumbbells, something like that. Yeah, for sixes. Sixes. Six aside. Um, so we'll work up to. A hard triple, so three reps. And basically, just start line to keep working way up until that hard triple hits us. I'd envision 200 kilo ish thereabouts. That's where I'm about for, for a triple at the minute. So, let's get it. Five kilo for a triple, that'll I'll leave that there. As I say, with boxing, you get just niggles everywhere, but niggles in my back, my wrists, my hands, elbows, shoulders, and uh, benching big numbers like that just brings those little niggles to surface. So I've just got this niggle in my right shoulder, which is just one of these things. Got to crack on, you, you're never going to be fresh boxing you know four or five times a week so you've just got to get on with things what's next uh, Patrick what are we thinking uh, what are we thinking yeah um, what, what, what have you written down again you got hex bar deadlifts with bands oh great mm -hmm. well, light session then what? I'm gonna do um, what's this called do hex bar deadlifts hex. with bands 
ex bar deadlifts with bands and um, you do six reps, work your way up. Okay? rotations now onto these in your lunge stance get your core working and you're going to do that with uh, more ball slams and then we're going to finish off with burpees no <laughs> no mate burpees on the iron now take two sets of each don't cry why do I employ you <laughs> <laughs> exercise this is called the iron neck and you just put a load of weight on and basically do rotations five one way five the other and it just strengthens the neck all around this is one of the best pieces of kit I was advised to get for boxing it builds the neck muscles and the stronger your neck is the less likely you are to get knocked out because a knockout is usually the result of a shaken brain. If you think about it, if you've got a weak neck, get them on the chin, they're going to get knocked out. If you've got a strong neck and you get hit on the chin, straight back, stops the brain shaking. That's the, that's the theory on it. Um, and I've done, done a lot of sparring, I've got a really thick neck. And I can take some hits and I just walk straight onto them a lot of the time. So this has been a really good tool for us as a team and Josh as well. Being a young lad trying to build that neck muscle up, build that punch resistance up. So uh, that's the iron neck, that's that done. Just to do one set on that. Um, and that'll do us today, I think. I'm just gonna jump in my cryo machine, do three minutes in there, lunch, and then I'm boxing this afternoon. So uh Got, got someone coming over for six rounds of sparring. Uh, so I'll get that done. So it's never stopping, never stopping. Straight after that physio, straight after that into the hot cold, and then back in the house and doing a whole firm rolling, stretching, and tens machines, whatever else. So it's just a constant uphill battle. I'm enjoying it. Seven weeks till the fight. Oh no, let's rephrase that. Seven weeks until Thor gets knocked out. It's not going to be much of a fight. Very confident. I mean, I'm a very confident man, but I am very, very confident about this. As I say, I've been in the ring with some great boxers. I've more than held my own. I got some very good pros, uh, you know, sort of very high level. So I'm very confident going into this fight, as always. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll let the, all the details be announced as soon as they are, and tickets be on sale soon. I hope some of you guys can make it out to to support and shout and uh, whatever else but um, thank you for supporting thanks for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time big love the beast take care